There are three robotics teams at Eureka High School and nine in the Rockwood School District. Every year, teams compete and only a few qualify for the World Championship. On March 8th, the Bosons, a team of 13 students, qualified for the World Championships in Houston, Texas. We went behind the scenes to see their preparation. My name is Wesley. I'm a programmer on the Bosons robotics team. My day starts when I go to robotics. I go into the room and I boot up the computer. Usually I eat a little bit while I wait for it to boot up or go to the restroom. And then after that, I start programming, trying to come up with solutions to problems we're having and work out any bugs. It is my job to record everything that we do on a daily basis and make sure that we have a working engineering notebook to present at our competition and hopefully win some awards and, and do good. So basically what I start off doing is that I'll log on to Google Docs. We have a team drive where we keep different parts of our notebooks. We have it you know, separated into different sections like our chassis, our drivetrain, and just various different sections. And it's my job to start entries every day and I would just start writing about everything we do. From the time we get there to the time we leave, it's really more and it's just about getting other people to help out, like going and checking on other people, what they're doing, having them write some stuff, I'll write some stuff with them. And it's really just about working with the whole team two hours a day, basically. I'm Andrew and I joined the Bosons because I really wanted to get into a STEM field and I thought that this was the perfect accepting place. I decided to go into marketing and PR. Uh, what I have done is I've tried to encourage other members to join the team. We've done this by going to middle schools and other various places where youth are and encouraging them to go into any STEM field and if they come to our high school then usually we help them continue in a STEM field by joining the team and pursuing what they want to do. I started robotics because I had a friend who was on the team and he like he was a year older than me so in middle school I got to see kind of what he was doing on the high school team and I thought hey that's neat whatever where I want to go after school. Because of robotics I've become interested in engineering and right now I'm a co-captain on the team and I also drive the robot. Probably the moment this year would clearly be at state when they were announcing that we won the Think Award. Before they announce that you won, what team won the award, they, they say like a pun or something about that team or the robot. They, they said something about the syringes that we have on our robot. Those are like the highlights. We all like, oh hey, the syringes. And we knew it was us before they even got like halfway through it. So we were all real excited and like, yes. I'm Nathan and I'm a senior and I've been on the Bosons for four years. The reason I joined the Bosons specifically was just kind of pure happenstance actually. So first thing that happened was a couple of my friends and I were like, oh we should do robotics because we heard about it when we were in middle school. We just clicked on, there was a Google form we had to fill out and we were all like, let's just join the same team and it just happened to be the Boson. And now I'm the team captain of the team. This year I've worked um, a lot on the drivetrain and that kind of stuff with the robot. So the drivetrain is actually just what fund like fundamentally makes the robot move. That's what most of my time has been spent on. I've also done notebook stuff things to, to, I've been to all the outreach events, that kind of stuff. So I've just tried to be um, everywhere I can be to try and keep the, everything uh, organized and coordinated. The Buzz on Shrivel to Houston in the World Championship on April 16th. Okay, so these are our syringes and these will break our fall when we uh, land from the lander. Um, and this is our arm, which can actually pivot up and down on this wooden gear and extend outward using linear slides. And this is our marker delivery system right here. And this will dump out our team marker. And last but not least is our hanging mechanism that actually lifts up, pulls the robot up with it. And then the drivetrain, which are the wheels. And in here, you can see the motors that drive the drivetrain. I'm hitting buttons and I don't know what they do. Okay, say something.